We struck gold. As you can see, we're drilling through the wall. And we have it. You can see the other side. Beautiful. As you can see right here. Hey, Jose. There he goes. So now we have water on this wall right here, which we have to come back and do. We just, we just discovered today. So this is a closet. So all this has to come off the wall. All the paneling has to come off the wall. And as you can see, they put tar on the wall, which does not. I repeat, does not stop hydrostatic pressure. You can see all the mud in here. Okay. So this is where all the water is coming from. It's coming from down this way. You see. And then running this way. And down through this hole right here. This is the heating duct. We were very careful. And then it's going to go into a perforated PVC pipe right here. And then we're going to bring it up the level. Put a mud and silt filter on there, surround it with stone, and then cement it in, and then we're gonna tie it into the sump pump, which is on the other side. Maybe we could see it. Maybe it's around there somewhere. Do you see it? It's probably around there. Hopefully it's on the video, but I will show you. We're gonna come around the wall. So it's a very good day. That was a very, very thick wall. And as you can see, we have, yes, there is the hole, and then, which will run into the sump pump, which will go in that little hole right there, or probably a little bit lower, and then we'll have two pipes. We have one in there now from the other side we did last week, and then one that's going to go through this wall, catch all the hydrostatic pressure that's along that wall, about 12 feet and then run a four inch perfect PVC pipe surrounded with stone and mud and silt filter and cement pitch it and then right into the sump pump so there we have it we broke through to the other side Bobby from Sahara waterproofing signing off